Ey, tal vez mi música no sea sana, pero yo no me inventé el que me critican. Estamos haciendo el Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K. Sports can't wait to get some NBA action going. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. We'll see the Houston Rockets and the Miami Heat. Now here's Wright. Pass to Autobio. Over Yao. Five on the clock. Oh, yes, the turnaround continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. Now with the ball. And some nice passing there by Houston. A shot goes in. First shot, first basket. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game. Getting the ball inside early. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And McGrady has an impressive vertical there, showing once again with how well he dunks the basketball. The kick outside to Butler. Over Battier. And that one goes long. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. And it's Stola in the corner. Pass to Yao. Finished off by Yao. Now check out Yao doing big man things. I mean, this guy's size makes those openings easy picking. Now here's Butler. Wide open. And Scola pulls it down. Yeah, he's kicking himself. No defenders to be found in that mid-range area. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Autobio with the bucket. More and more comfortable facing up and knocking down jumpers. Bam, Autobio's game continues to grow. Here is Austin. Yao in the post. Yao slams it in. 
Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. Now, here's Adebayo. It's good from long range. Adebayo's got five. Good to see Bam showing off some accuracy. That's not his favorite shot, but he drains it. Here's Yao. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Pass to Autobio. Butler with the ball. Back to Autobio. It's deflected. A really smart defender. Battier positions himself really good there for the block. There's McGrady. That falls. Great assist by Rafer Alston. Six points for him. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Back to Butler. And slam dunk by Butler. Outstanding play from Jimmy Butler. Doesn't get any higher percentage than that. Pass to Battier. Here's Yao. And the layup falls. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Here's Martin. Adebayo with the ball. And the jumper is on the mark. And that's now seven points for Bam Adebayo. Good communication. Then Martin recognizing and making a great pass. To the paint. Here's Yao, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Yao's got 12 points in the game. Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his points today. Three-second difference between shot clock and game. Get to Digo. That one good from Autobio. His versatility and unselfishness is what makes Jimmy Butler such a talented passer. Great open look there. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. 21. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Right out of the gate, they've been in attack mode. And I think that's by design because it has been relentless. Another thing that they're doing well is converting in the post, giving it to the big guys and letting them go to work. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Jimmy Butler made some headlines a while back when he said he wished the NBA would allow more of the scrapping we saw in decades past. So would I. He says that would suit his game, though. Jimmy said, I want to run into people and see who falls down first, who's going to quit first. That's the style of basketball I like to play. Kevin? Yep, you're right. And it shows, D.A., it shows. Thank you so much. Pass to Yao. Miami grabs the miss. Now Martin from the arc. And again, Miami with the triple. The quick release has become league-wide. Caleb Martin can certainly let it fly. Offensive rebound. Yes, that goes in. Yao's got four this quarter. Relentless on the offensive glass, and then you love the finish. Outside, Martin. Back to right. Outside for Martin. From deep, trains the three-pointer. 
Martin's got eight. Pretty comfortable from range. Martin puts a confident stroke on it. Uses both hands to slam it down. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Outside, Martin. The kick outside to Butler. The turnaround jumper. Again, the heat, good for two. Better to be lucky than good. Got that shot to fall. McGrady outside. Puts it up. And again, the Rockets good for two. Like the size McGrady has inside. Fantastic at kind of angling his body there for the interior shot. Now here is Mark. He's got eight. Butler feeling out of it. Shot clock at six. From outside the arc. Now Ming pulls it in. Houston in the lead. Inside. Here's McGrady. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. You gotta love seeing McGrady when he's hot. An amazing score from any spot on the floor. And Shane Battier gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Rockets call timeout. It's T shirt time. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Pass to Hero. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Hero's got four points in the quarter. And here is Yao. Number nine to fall. He's only taken ten shots. And how about Ming just going to work? His guys are getting him the ball, and boy, is he rewarding. And it's Butler missing. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Pass to Yao. One fourteen left to play here in the second quarter. Six to shoot. Houston needs to get a shot off. And that one's good. But Brady. And Yao just so big, he's able to see over the top of the defense. And that allows him to find an open teammate. The kick outside to Butler. All sorts of time. Luis Scola with the rebound. At some point, when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. Houston moving it around. Battier goes up and lays it nice and easy. And it's an eight-point rocket lead. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Right outside. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Adebayo with the bucket. Adebayo's got 12 points in the game. Nice shot from Bam there. Embracing any opportunity, he gets to scoring closer. Now a timeout called by Houston. Fifteen seconds left in the first half. And here's Alston. 
Still without a basket. Pass to Head. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Head's got the lead up to eight now for the Rockets. Nice touch there near the hoop. And so it's Houston holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Back right after this. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Rockets leading by eight. Battier outside. Pass to Yao. It's back to Battier. Alston with the ball. Shot clock at five. Here's McGrady. Second chance shot. Rebound by the Heat. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Pass to Love. And the shot goes down. Rogier's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Heat. That's a good look by Kevin Love. The decision-making with the ball in his hands makes him different than other fours. McGrady. Add another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. And it's good for two. Boy, it's great playing with big guys who can space the floor. Love does that and a lot more. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. The Miami Heat have battled to deep playoff runs in recent years, and they find the strength in each other to keep fighting. Bam Adebayo says, we depend on each other. Every once in a while, we'll be like, dog, I need to lean on you tonight. And that's what being a team is all about. Having those teammates to lean on, you're down. Kevin? Great approach. David, thank you. And, and, you know, he's such a huge figure from a cultural standpoint. Yao is also someone teammates love playing with because of that easygoing personality. Here's Jovic. It's a pick by Love. Pass to Hockey. Now Love. Driving the lane. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Love's got four points now in the quarter. The awareness of the clock. Kevin Love keeping tabs on it. Releases the ball in time. Now that's good. And the Rockets lead by seven. And no doubt about it, in order for them to be successful, he has got to be a catalyst when it comes to scoring. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. <laughs> How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. Now a timeout called by Houston. Get and let them Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Rockets lead by seven. There's the triple. Doesn't go that time. Here's Miami now. And it's great for Alston with the foul. That's foul number two for him. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Team foul. Rozier looking around. Outside for Robinson. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Rozier. For three, Love. And he's good on the three ball. Love's got seven points. And how many big guys have Love's touch from that distance? Back to Yao. Nifty move. And the layup is good. Yao's got five points in the quarter. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. 
Here's Jovic. Here's Rozier. The Rockets pull it in. 130 left in the third. Pass to Alston. To the inside. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Timeout called the Rockets. Rockets call timeout. If you want to see straight, you've got to get loud. The Heat trail by six. Love outside. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. The defender out of position to contest there. Good read by Love. Now he hits the second from the line. And he makes all three. 112 left in the third quarter. Down low, here's McGrady, and he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. One of the most ferocious scorers in the game. McGrady's length and athleticism is so difficult to contain. Now, here's Rogier for three, Love. McGrady outside. It's rebounded by Jovic. The Heat trailed by six. Robinson for three. Kept alive. The kick out to Rogier. On the wing, Rogier. It's a pick by Love. No one near Rogier as he lets it fly. Can't nail the jump. And so it's Houston with it to the middle. Here's McGrady, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. McGrady's got the lead up to eight now for Houston. He's been locked in all night, and he's taking good shots. Oh, wide open look for Love. Good on the triple. Love's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Heat. Rogier with the steal. To the left wing. Here's Hockey. No good on the last second attempt there. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Rockets lead by five. And do not. 51. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And it's right with the ball for Miami. Trailing by five. It's Martin on the wing. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Right outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes up to the stripe. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Rockets lead by five. Pass to Alston. Now here is Yao. He's guarded by Adebayo. And that one's good. Yao. Yao's got 25 points. And this is where you feed Yao because almost no one is going to be able to block it. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. And that one's good. But great. And now a nine-point Houston lead. Really, really good possession here. They never lost their focus, even as the games got tight. With their lead starting to stretch out just a little bit here late, they're in a prime position now to wrap this one up. Outside, Scola. Back to Yao. Puts the move on, and he sinks the layup. Yao's got nine points now in just the second half. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. 
And it's Adebayo in the corner. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrich. Thanks, guys. During that last break, I heard what Rick Adelman was telling his team. Now, Coach told his team, we're up. Take care of the ball. Don't give them the game. Playing smart basketball will clinch a victory for us. Guys? Thank you, David. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in this second half. For them, the first half was maybe more of a filling out process. Now it's winning time. Outside, Hero. Outside, Martin. And the Heat, another three. Right there, you see Martin's confidence at a pivotal juncture in this game. Hesty out. And the layup's good off the glass. Yao's got eight points in the quarter. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. A wide open look here for Wright. He can't get it to go. Well, he's going to have some explaining to do on the sideline about why he took that shot. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. And Yao slams it in. Not just swinging the ball around the perimeter. Aggressive move inside. Martin with the bucket. And the three-point shot really has been their best friend here tonight. He's been huge from deep. That's where he's done most of his damage. If they need another three, he'll be the guy. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Caleb Martin. That's his first foul. Timeout called the Rockets. They're in front by six. 132 left in the fourth quarter. One thirty-two left here in the fourth quarter. Here is Alston. Pass to McGrady. Now here is Yao. Pocket six. Miami grabs the miss. Every second counts now. They can't wait around. And I don't think they will. The problem is they've waited too long to make a move. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. Here. There's a minute left in the game. Here's McGrady. And he jams it with authority. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand. And he's the one doing the slam. Agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Great play from Caleb Martin. He doesn't look like he's feeling the pressure at all. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. And I'm sure he would like to have had all of those, but he's still able to pad the lead. A chance here to possibly put it out of reach. This is when you really need to maintain your focus. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Mug Crady with the ball. Pass to Scola. Back to McGrady. Now Battier. Now Alston. He's covered by Hero. The kick out to Scola. Here's Alston. So Houston wins it. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg.